Welcome to this tutorial about the trading simulator in which we are going to show you the main aspects of the package in order to create a, an awesome game for, for your application and mobile app or even for computer applications. So first of all what you need to know is that we have a canvas and inside the canvas we have a chart then we have uh, heading, axis, trading and capital. So the chart is going to be all the information that is plotted uh, regarding the uh, the uh, stock market da data that can be modified as you can see here in sites and, and width and um, the heading is going to be the the name of the uh, of the thing that is being sold on the stock market then in the heading we have also the subtitle that is going to be the number of ticks so the number of ticks is going to be the number of points that are generated and it's going to be accordingly the number of markers that are generated okay then the other thing we can do is uh, move over a marker and the values of the maximum and minimum uh, are going to be displayed over the marker as you can see that happens for, for um, markers that are going up and markers that are going down. So for both cases. Then um, the information or the data is generated in real time, which means that um, a Y value is uh, obtained that is going to be this one here, that is 174.35 now, that is changing according to time. And uh, whenever it gets to um, uh, not a new tick, it's going to change and add a point into the graph, as you can see here. So now it's adding some points to the chart, uh, accordingly to the uh, information that is being received from the scripts. So um, let's check other options that you can change. You can change the line width as you can see here okay you can change the line width to make it uh, more smooth and you can also change the number of divisions the uh, a lot of a lot of different um, values that uh, affect the the style of the the chart and what is most important are the uh, values that are called the tick latency and the tick duration so for example if I reduce the latency to 0 or to 0 1 okay that is going to change uh, the number of ticks by second that are, are displayed so as you can see here it's going to go uh, much faster whenever it it generates the different points of the ticks okay another thing you can change is the um, the tick duration the mean seed value the max seed value the volatility volatility sorry and the fork values so those are parameters that are used for the trading uh, information so let's go to trading once we have seen the chart trading are uh, just uh, two buttons that allow you to create uh, selling operations or buying operations and the close button here that is going to close the operation so for example now we want to buy we click buy and whenever we click buy a uh, yellow line appears and according to the volume that we have selected we have a benefit uh, in function of how the um, the values are uh, evolving whenever we hit close we can obtain that benefit by closing the operation and uh, adding it to our capital here our, our main uh, mm, our money we have, the money we have uh, stored in, in the application 
we can do the same operation with selling but in this case we will have negative values if the stock market goes up as you can see here so you can close the operation and those values will be also added or subtracted from the main capital if you want to change the volume of operation to to 1000 for example you can do it easily by changing the input value and doing a buying operation so you can see how the benefit uh, is increased in function of that volume so whenever you have more volume the the money you are going to move in the operation is going to be higher but the risk of losing money are going to be uh, it's going to be also higher too so uh, that's all regarding how the dynamics work please check our new tutorial that will be tutorial number two in which we talk about the scripts